Welcome to Game Devs Play Games, where we play games dot game design, and today we are playing the much-anticipated Curious Expedition, because if you're an avid follower of the show, you might have seen our previous Curious Expedition playthrough. Uh, this is a game made by Machine and Mensch, and any, any of you guys that have come from the earlier iterations of this, uh, this is the full release of the Curious Expedition, which is super exciting because we've only played the alphas? I think they were called alpha builds, even though really it was technically betas, but well, you don't have to worry about that. And you might be wondering, where is Harry Poppins? So who are we going to play as? It's a good question. So I, I've unlocked a couple of characters already just because I've been playing this on my off time. Um, but today you will be playing this and you're not so bad yourself. I'm all right. Another thing or two. Kind of. So I think the starting first three characters are those top three up there. Um, okay. <laughs> to choose from five perks, pretty basic. To allow one to rest in native villas while standing costs increase and gain sanity. And my favorite is uh, Charles Darwin. I did Darwin. not mean to do that. Well, I guess we're playing as Darwin. All right. Word is that you have a good chance of seeing your likeness on the statue. However, I'm afraid to tell you that you are not the only candidate. You and your rivals have six expeditions to prove who is the most famous explorer within our club. They're going to be watching this and be like, all right, let's see how good Intangible is. And immediately I misclick on the wrong camera. <laughs> <laughs> like not even, I uh, can't even uh, select a person correctly. Yeah, well, now, see, we have a, a um, difficulty setting now, which wasn't in earlier versions of the game, I don't think. I don't think so either. At least not since Alpha 25, which was, and, I I'm think, pretty the last sure certain played. death didn't come until later. No. So. It's already pretty tough of a game. So, if you've never seen The Curious Expedition, um, this is basically an exploration survival game. Uh, the point of the game is that we're going to these foreign continents and we're exploring the lands to find riches and other cool stuff and become the most famous person in history ever. Um, and everything that Nathan just skipped over was basically our first quest, which is to what, deliver <laughs> what? someone to a town. We've got to, I think it was go find his wife out of town. Okay. So there, I think so there we've got to go to a village, essentially. Yeah, there are three starting possible starting quests. It's either find someone's wife at the native village, uh, deliver a letter, or deliver a like a doctor or or a um like a priest to the the village. Gotcha. There, yeah, there are. I I usually, I don't know. All I know is that I always end up with the instrument one on a second one on a second journey. That one comes up a lot. So the journey across the ocean brought many wondrous sightings of marine life before a shoreline rose in the morning mist. We had arrived, and it was time to sally forth. So you can access the stor ship storage. Last time I played, well, I mean, I played recently, but before that, this wasn't a thing. I mean, the ship wasn't even the thing in the last times we played this oh, right. on the you're show. Just like, you're just like on the island. You're you like, just oh, like oh, balloon in. <laughs> like, okay, I guess. Ooh, not a whole lot of whiskey there. That's fine. The That's shotgun, enough to though. last. That shotgun is amazing. I'm so used to like playing pacifist runs that I don't even bother. Oh, really? Yeah. I rarely choose the pacifist run, and that's probably why I die a lot. So we don't also, really need you... water. No, probably not. I, or rather, definitely not. But whatever, I still like to bring in. I can drop water at a, you know in any moment. So. That's kind of the attitude I take on it, too. It really doesn't start coming into play until we either go to a desert or sometimes like the dry, dry lands. lands have a few areas. Yeah. It usually isn't enough to justify carrying water around, but it no, it's free so so usually you want to i mean you want to go to the question marks right because that's where you're going to find the interesting things uh we know that we have to go to the village I'm, you I'm also might as well oh, here's mount your donkey because you have the storage space kapow i think it only cuts his storage in half something like that something like that but i'm also i'm gonna go ahead and hit this so i can get a lot of uh uh Mm, so I think this will probably yeah, be better. The, so basically, yeah. how this works is each terrain has a movement cost, and it's it's your sanity, right? So like, you kind of go a little crazy if you're not maintaining um, yeah. your your crew. If you uh, have heard any of, if you know much about you know the expeditions like Lewis and Clark and all the terrible things that they went through <laughs> and how they've lost their minds after a while, that's basically what it's inspired off of. Mm -hmm. Hitting a hill early on is really useful, as you can see, because you'll gain a lot of sight into the areas around you. Yeah, the only like, downside is that you also got a lot of water, which 
isn't the worst thing, but... Yeah. Meh. Is what it is. So we know we gotta go there. I say we go ahead and stop, because we can actually pass through here. So we're gonna go in. You know, th yeah. The question marks you only have to be next to, which is very nice. <sighs> yes. Um... Hmm. Examine. I surveyed the curious more than th the curious. Yeah, the curious more than three meters high stone figure. The ghastly vis visage seems to stare at us. Its presence made me uncomfortable, and I desire to move on. I noticed some items by the statue, which, m which must have been put there by the people from a near nearby village, presumably in an attempt to appraise the appease the gods. I mean, with a face like that, I'd feel pretty uncomfortable too. <laughs> uh Vink, I'm going to leave it there since we're about to go to a town. I don't want to piss the people. I mean, off you can already. examine it. The examining it won't disrupt anything. Fair enough. But so it's, it's all fruit. fruit so. It's all things that are going to spoil really quick. And we could probably all, all they do it. is cure sanity. Yeah, yeah. And we have plenty of whiskey. That's what the whiskey's for. I wonder if you put anything on. Can you? Oh, you can. Try put all of them on there. All of your machetes. Okay. So normally, what happens is so. There's an interesting relationship that the game has with keeping a good standing with the mm -hmm. natives. Um, so generally how you improve your standing is when you trade with the natives, you would um, give them more than you're asking for. And it shows you a little meter to show like how fair yeah. the trade is. So if you give them more than you need out of them, then it improves your standing with them. Um, so I was looking to see if maybe it would give you that plus one standing indicator on there. but Would be nice. Machetes are pretty cheap anyway. I think, uh, let's see, also we have to pay attention to our compass, so... I honestly... Wow, it's very clear as to where we need to go. So in our earlier playthroughs, Harry Poppins and I, or Nick, I guess, is probably the uh, less weird way of referring to him. Um, we never used the compass because it's so unreliable for the most part, and you never know if there's a magnetic mountain that's going to just throw everything in whack. That's totally fair. Which doesn't really happen in the earlier continents, so I guess it's pretty safe early on, but... You can also pick up things that make it more reliable. That's true. As I observed the tribe, I noticed one woman was, was somewhat out of place. She was the wife I had asked to... Uh, had been tasked to escort back to London. Without further ado, she happily joined our trek, and we began to show us, began to show us around the village. So we... We have a native shaman now. She's got the stuff. crazy neck thing going on. It's crazy. All right, uh, faces. The natives seem to have heard pleasant things about us. Upon arrival, Aranos Naroji began to converse with the natives, the person that had just joined us. Meh. You can also scroll over that name to see who it is. Ah. So this is the Persian trader we had with us um, before this. Right. Which uh. makes sense, because that's pretty much the whole reason we would have her with us. So jewels are going to be good for getting funds. I like jewels early in the game, like on your first expedition. Jewels are pretty awesome because they will allow you to get that early advantage on funds. That way your next expeditions can be much cushier, mm. allowing you to pull off uh, or get a, get away with a lot more. Totally fair. And they also stack better than most things. Mm. So I think we're good on most of the things. That's about all I'd possibly want. Yeah, water? if anything I would no. get... Yeah, water won't do anything. If anything I would there, get... Um those berries because the mangoes are worthless they go bad after like five steps one thing i noticed is that they actually write the value of things now they didn't before when, Which when i first played nice. yeah well and the value is is how the natives view it because mm -hmm. um, they'll even say minus 50 percent for jewels for instance they mean nothing to them but for us mm -hmm. so uh we have to get at least 30 to make up for that and uh, machetes are relatively worth it yeah, you really don't need machetes in this either. I usually I mean, they only just keep... equal sanity, really. Yeah, yeah, a sanity reduction for the cost of consuming inventory space, mm -hmm. and I usually just don't even bother with them. No. I usually only keep, like, one torch on me, too, because you only really find one, maybe two caves per continent yeah i probably should have actually put one into the boat but i think that's good I, do we feel like we need the fruit i don't know nah, i think good. we'll be all right with those right, jewels cool. uh, let's go ahead and rest oh this Ooh. is always right both are equals like you think that's the right so choice. so we right we choice. unpacked our belongings prepared to spend the night with the natives at their campfire a young couple asked me to settle an argument for them they were inclined to know which gender was superior and nick of course, always says women are superior. Like, hands down, unquestionably. Um, 
<laughs> oh, and all the women in your party are like, what the hell, dude? <laughs> Which, I mean, it's totally fair. <laughs> Ooh. So you always lose two standing with the natives when you spend the, the night in their village, which I think is really interesting because it's like, that's how you make sure you don't overstay your, your welcome. You're welcome, yeah. And so when you, if you start off with expeditions with people that like, like can increase your standing or something like that with native villages, mm. basically what it translates into is that you're, you're going you to get, get more night. sanity. Yeah, you get mm -hmm. a free night. <laughs> um, we have a full party now, don't we? Uh, I think so. I mean, you can always, Oh. yeah, you should have recruited before you slept uh fair eh. heartbreaking ceremony samav said farewell to her tribe as we departed she mentioned that she would like to visit a holy shrine in the vicinity that received a blessing for her travels she marked the location of the shrine on our map the interesting thing about this right so, is that we're like oh okay we'll go to that shrine and just steal everything out of there right she's and like, like what yeah that's okay and they never really seemed that upset about it well it's actually Weird. So the best way to just right there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I usually just hover over the question mark to see what the optimal path is because the oh, pathfinding right. in this game always calculates what's going to cost the least amount of sanity. Based the only on time your you want to pay attention to it is like for some reason you don't want to use your machetes or something like that. That or if there's like an animal that's stalking that an area. Yeah. Well, uh, it's we a entered... shaman. We don't really need cleansing. We entered an unusual looking hunt, hut. The place smelled of old dank wood with all sorts of dried herbs and other particular things hanging from the walls. The native shaman approached us with wide eyed stares. He chewed on some leaves. Which are definitely coca leaves. Definitely. <laughs> Very slowly, the shaman got out a bag made of animal hide and presented his wares. <laughs> you want to know what this does? The metal, this metal cube. cube. It's so weird. I don't know what it does. This was something that, that Nick and I dwelled on in our earlier playthroughs. We were like, what is it? And oh, it's actually... a shiny magnetic material. Sorry, go on. But it's otherworldly, though, is the thing. So, but if there's a magnetic uh, mountain nearby... Do you think it counters it? I, I don't know. Maybe. I know that H.P. Lovecraft starts with it, though, which is super weird. Ooh. And we found out what it did in one uh, after one playthrough, and I've totally forgotten since then. Because <laughs> it was so long ago. Um, the one tome that I will always, always take is the Tome of Water Drain, because you never know when you're going to get cut off by a body of water. Water Drain? That one, right there. Gotcha. So I've never really played with the tomes too much. I know that they can be a big deal, but I'm not really sure, because like, a lot of them are like, Tome of Fire. You can create fire. Why would you want to do that? If you want to burn down a forest. But why would you want to do that? So that you don't have to trudge through the jungle. But what about the one that just creates a black hole? That's probably only really useful if you're being hunted by all of the natives. And you're just like, you know what? Screw all of you. Here's this black hole. I'm just going to go straight to the pyramid and hope that the rest of the world isn't destroyed when I get home. Wow. Jules. Already useful. Oh, yeah. Whoo, that shotgun. Um, I don't know. Get the metal cube, maybe? <laughs> I don't know, man. I I wouldn't bother right. with it to be right. honest, because you can't case, even sell it. Pretty much good then. Mm -hmm. Cool deal. One thing that is new in this version of the game is that you have companion loyalty, um, which yeah, we did see a little that. bit. Um, I don't. I think all that it really changes are like if a companion betrays you or like it sets up certain circumstances, right? So you have to make sure that they like you long mm -hmm. enough to like finish the expedition with you you also can level up one of your guys right now oh can i oh yeah sure enough do, 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 do. i don't know about you but i pretty much always level up my soldiers first but since you tend to play pacifist well it's fine i mean we're not this time i have a shotgun that's fair well uh, we, we're Ooh. not gonna be keeping well, don't her, yeah though. don't level her up but shamans yeah. are awesome because they can heal your characters and that's the most useful ability in this entire game, in my opinion. But they're well, so hard to find. Whis whiskey ex expert it is. Oh, yeah, because he's the Scottish soldier. All right, so butterflies here, and then then we'll travel this way all in one go. Oh, yeah, that's a good thing about Charles Darwin, is that if you catch butterflies, they will uh, increase your sanity. Not by a ton. It's only like 15 or so. But hey, oh. Go there. That is always good. Half of the time, you'll you you don't have to go that way all the way up. Oh, right. Good. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just that one, yeah. The eleven. Chicka pow. I find dynamite in those so often. 
I don't usually use them. I like try to actually be nice to the natives. The, the dynamite isn't bad to the natives. You just, yep, there it is, dynamite. I mean, when you blow up their stuff, it is. You just blow up mountains. It's fine. <laughs> so how do you use the, um, how do you use the, uh, the weather balloon? Attract a ravenous wildlife. Yay. Go ahead and use it right now, actually. It reveals nearby shrines, which ah. I guess that was... I thought it would reveal new ones, not just the nearest one. But, yeah, it, it at least the nearest landmark. Um, maybe it's always shrines, maybe it's any landmark, but I don't know why landmarks specifically, but hmm. I guess you track it, right? So maybe it, like, hits something and then you're like... There's a lot of strange things that will, like notice either landmarks or shrines or my favorite is the upgrade that allows you to find stone circles because stone circles can allow you to track anything mm -hmm. so you try to find them on the map and if you have an upgrade that allows you to find it's just cool it's it's all about the little things that allow you to get to the end of your expedition mm. but that's about all the time we have for now yes we're tad over that's okay I, I was hoping that we could make it to the gold pyramid in the first episode but meh yeah this is pretty much alright question of the day question of the day um I don't know. Normally this is where we would ask about tutorials, but we actually skipped the tutorial because it's Cause the tutorial <laughs> this, well the tutorial is an optional thing. It doesn't start the game in going having the player go through the tutorial. It's just on the start screen. So it's like if you want to learn, then go do the tutorial. Um, which is a good and bad thing. I guess we could still talk about that. That's fine. Go for it. Question of the day. Shoot. Question of the day. Uh how would you design a tutorial for this game? Yeah, good enough. Because we, did, we didn't go through it, so who knows what they did. So that's about it. <laughs> Boat. <laughs> and what you want to see next, whether it's more Curious Expedition or one of these other two games. And uh, thanks for watching. Till next time.